little Wondering Wednesday. Oh. Hey guys, you just kind of caught me doing Wondering Wednesday, so uh, sorry about that. Hey, my cousin tagged me or challenged me or like nominated me or whatever in this challenge for like push-ups to do like 10 of them. I think it's like C do, do 10 or something like that. I don't know. He just challenged me to do 10 push-ups. I'm just going to do them just because and just, I mean, why not? I'm bored out of my mind in quarantine and all, but hey. Anyway, happy Wandering Wednesday. I'm Jeremy, Jeremy Carr, World Blog. Jeremy Carr's studio on Instagram. Yes. And today we are going to explore abandoned places. And I'm going to give you tips and tricks and maybe the techniques that I have gathered while exploring these abandoned places for the last 10 years. So hopefully you gain something and if you do, let me know in the comments. And uh, so anyway, I'm gonna do 10 push-ups. Make sure you can see me. So we finally made it to this nursing home. I don't know much about it. It's been abandoned for quite a while. I do want to start off with saying, just like a, a bonus pre-tip, never come alone. Is that right, Paige? Don't ever come alone. So let's see what this place has to offer. You'll come across like something dark because these abandoned places are, you know, they always have basements and boiler rooms and stuff. And we're still trying to find the roof because I really want to give you a tip. And if I don't find one, then this vlog is trash and I got to start over. So really, really want to find roof access. So let's see what we can find. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so finally found the roof. Thank baby Jesus and the sheeps, because I really needed this. So let's just start out. Getting on the roof and stuff, you want to stay close to the edge. The reason why is because there's traffic, there's homes, all kinds of stuff like that going around, so people can all they have to do is just look up and say, hey, there's somebody up there. In this case, it really wouldn't matter because I have a permit, so there you go with that. But in this case, say for example you didn't, just stay close to the edges, nobody will see you, everything will be cool. So like all these edges, I'm wanting to stay away from all of that. Like they're here. There, right there's a house that can probably see me, so I'm gonna get behind this thing. You just gotta stay real close to the edges. Hopefully this helps you out. Hopefully it kind of gave you on some insight on some stuff around here, St. Louis and all, and all this abandoned stuff. It's a lot of fun. I learn a lot of new things when we do it. So hopefully, if you are doing this in the Urbex community, hopefully you're doing it safe. And speaking of safe, with the coronavirus going around, y'all be safe. Uh, one thing that I don't have to worry about is 50-year-old people here at the abandoned places. So that's good. So anyway, we're gonna bust out of here, get some eat, get some grub. Okay, so before I go, pro tip, bonus tip, bonus post tip, I don't even know what you want to call it, but always to abandoned places, bring your protection, whether that be uh, a knife or another person, Germex, because you never know what you might come across in those places, because they are abandoned, and I seen something on a note that said 2006, I think, so it's been a bit. So anyway, happy Wandering Wednesday. Hopefully you like this video. If you do, hit it in the comments and all that yummy goodness stuff that's in the description.